job. Eric's kind of a ham, isn't he? <laughs> For the cameras and the crowd. This week is pretty special. I really wanted to reach out and to work with those families who really hadn't had the opportunity to visit um, an adaptive program such as Challenge Aspen. So because of the high level and the severity of the disabilities, I invested a lot of time with family members to design a schedule that would provide optimum levels for challenge, but also time for relaxation. And the most important factor is for them to have fun together. My name is Eric Edmondson, retired Army Sergeant. Eric Edmondson, just an incredible young man, here with his family, his wife Stephanie, and the most phenomenal parents, uh, Beth and, and Ed Edmondson. Eric was injured back in 2005 and has a, a multitude of disabilities. After being wounded in Iraq, I never thought I would be doing all the exciting outdoor events that I was able to participate in this league. Thank you to Challenge Aspen for providing me the opportunity to experience activities that are important to me. River rafting and horsebike riding were a lot of fun. He looks, he looks so happy. Do you see him relax? Wow. We were just really excited for Eric to have these experiences. I think for us the bonus was the opportunity to also see the joy on his face. It's, it's what it's all about. And this is a nice way to use all the skills that he's gotten back and have some fun and meet other soldiers and share some common bond and some brotherhood with him. We also have Corey and Jenny Breest here. Um, again, just a very admirable young couple. Corey has always been an outgoing kind of guy. He wanted to help his community. He got activated in the summer of 05 and got overseas in October. And on December 4th of 2005, his convoy was hit by two IEDs, which gave him a traumatic brain injury. You know, it's, it's still dad. His sense of humor is still there. It's the same old Corey, he just has some limitations and a lot of things got taken away and he's very dependent on us for, you know, moving around, you know, getting places. If he ever gets down, we always show him what he's done and it always uplifts him. So for him to be able to do things that he once loved to do is awesome. It'll be <laughs> His smile is just worth a million, a million dollars to me, you know, it's, it's pretty priceless to just see him happy and to see him connect with the other soldiers is just remarkable. Our goal here at Challenge Aspen is to encourage soldiers with disabilities and their families to, to look into our program and to take advantage of these incredible opportunities. It's been a long two and a half years. The experience not only helps to re rehabilitate the person back, but it also helps to rehabilitate the family. Great opportunity. Uh, thank you. Thanks for inviting you. Yeah. All the staff and volunteers are fantastic. They made everything so much fun. Eric has just started to walk again, and he's taken more steps here in this last two days than he's ever taken since his injury. And that's great to hear. Challenge Aspen is a wonderful organization. I really hope everyone with challenges will be able to be a part of so much fun and experiences. There are so many people that need to meet you at Challenge Aspen. Remember this, you affect lives. I will speak of you and Challenge Aspen with great feelings and respect for what you are doing for the challenge. Again, thank you, Sarah. Thank you, Eric. Thank you so much. Can I give you a hug? <laughs>